So not that long ago, I made a video on five reasons why you should get the Steam Deck. And I was not expecting the the turnout on that video, right? There was a ton of comments, ton of responses, and relatively a ton of views. And so I actually got an idea from a viewer who said that I should make a video on five reasons why you should not get the Steam Deck or some reasons why you shouldn't get the Steam Deck. And having the Steam Deck now for a little bit, um, I actually did have some thoughts on maybe why you shouldn't get the Steam Deck. And we'll jump right into it. Welcome back to Top Shelf Hunters, where we check out some tech while we hang out and just take a break from the real world. My name is Jomar, and today we'll be talking about why you should not get the Steam Deck. All right? And so to get right into it, the very first reason that you should not get a Steam Deck is going to be the size. There's no question that the Steam Deck is relatively a large device, right? It's kind of a kind of bigger when when coming from you know using a Nintendo Switch, right? Um, and even though I I'm pretty much used to it, and everybody that has a Steam Deck and loves it is very much used to it. It may not be for someone who maybe has small hands or um, whose hands get tired because, honestly, my hands do get tired using this thing. And you can use a controller and you can dock it to the TV, but then what's the purpose of it being a um, portable device, right? A handheld. So, just for context, this is me holding it. This is a Nintendo Switch Lite. Right, compared to it, boom. This is a Nintendo Switch OLED. There you go, that's how much bigger it is. And this is a Nintendo 2DS. And I have some plastic, kind of cheap uh, grip, some uh, grip holder on it. Um, yeah, so. You know, if you're somebody whose hands get tired and you don't really like holding on to something for a long period of time, then that may or may be a reason why you don't want the Steam Deck or wouldn't, shouldn't get the Steam Deck. The second reason is going to be the battery life. Man, the battery life is controversial, I would say. And it's not all the way bad. But when you're playing the heavy AAA games like a Spider-Man or a God of War or a Horizon, the battery's going to die in like, it's, it's going to run out in like two hours, if that, maybe less. If you're playing like a 2D game or like an emulated game, you'll get six hours on this thing, no problem, for sure. Um, I mean, some solutions for that are really, you know, carrying a um a portable battery or or playing close to uh, an outlet and just having it hooked up that's something that i do i'll play connected to an outlet or um I'll, i mean i'll just play for a couple of hours it's, it's really not a big deal for me but i can see why it would be a big deal for somebody that travels and and is mostly on the go right there's so many people that use a steam deck from all different backgrounds and and people that you know, are in the military or just travel or everything like that, right? So that that is a big deal breaker, in my opinion. Now, the third reason is going to be <laughs> uh, if you're a, a physical collector. So if you're a big physical collector and you love to, you know, get something tangible for your money, then the Steam Deck is definitely not for you because... Everything here is digital, and the only thing physical about it is memory cards. You'll have to get memory cards to install your games onto them, and um, you know, depending on how many games you want, you're gonna have to get like a one terabyte or something to to store all of your games. Now, it's probably wiser if you just you know put a put the games that you're playing on the memory card, so you don't need that many. But honestly, with a one terabyte. You can put tons of games on here, um, no problem. I'm just going to leave this here for comparison. Um, so, yeah, so that, that's going to be probably the, the third reason. The fourth reason, I would say, is 
the Steam Deck may have a new version coming out soon, and there's been, you know, there's been hints. There's not, haven't been exactly rumors, I would say, but there's definitely been hints on whether a second device would come out, is coming out. Um, I saw an article where they were talking about how Valve was already kind of working on some of the kinks, and one of those things was, <laughs> I'll tell you what it wasn't, it was the, the screen. So Valve isn't worried about um, the screen right now. They're more so focused on things like the battery life, maybe making it a little bit smaller, and that kind of stuff. And so um, that, that could be one reason why you wouldn't want the Steam Deck. And so I think the last reason is that although the Steam Deck and the fifth reason to... to land the plane here on the five reasons why you shouldn't get a steam deck and guys if you find this video helpful please like comment and subscribe i'm just you know trying to make a platform for people to just come chill hang out talk about some tech and just kick it for a little bit like or dislike um based off of your preference that's totally fine um that definitely helps me understand if i'm doing something right or wrong but um the fifth reason i would say is Although the Steam Deck is a good bang for its buck, it's not the premium of, you know, it's not the cream of the crop in terms of it's kind of the world that it's in, right, with the handheld PC world. There's some things like the Aya Neo, there's the, the One X player, right? And those are considered, give or take, depending on your preference, right, the premium... Um, handheld PC experiences right now because they just seem to have a better, I guess, more fluid joysticks. Um, the, it, they're a little bit more comfortable on the hands, depending on who you are. You know, you may disagree. Um, and they're just designed to be a little bit more aesthetic. So those are some reasons why you may not want to get the Steam Deck. Let me know in the comments. What do you guys think? What are, what are some of your favorite things about the Steam Deck? Or what are some of your reasons why you shouldn't get the Steam Deck? Right? So, you know, I've been using the Steam Deck for a while now. Um, I made a few videos on some accessories and, um, again, why you shouldn't get it. Why you should get it. And, yeah, I mean, the Steam Deck has been honestly awesome. It's a game changer. It's it's helped me get more and more into the PC world. And I'm pretty grateful for, for what it is, you know. I'm happy with it, especially, like, for the price. And this is the 512 gigabyte version. Some games that I'm playing here. Um, and, yeah, so, again, let me know in the comments what you guys think. I would appreciate you guys letting me know what are some of your thoughts on this video. And... Please check up on me again. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.